Okay, so today I wanted to show you guys why I normalize my audio files before I push them through a compressor or a limiter. So the very first thing, the goal of you know a compressor or a limiter is to make sure that your vocals all say all stay the same level at all times. You want that consistent sound. So check this out before I normalize them or before I do anything like that. Here it goes. Mic check, mic check. One, two, three, four. Mic check, mic check. One, two, three, four. Mic check, mic check. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mic check. It's time to pop the microphone so I cannot easily normalize it. So, as you can see, these files I recorded, they all have different levels. The benefit of normalizing it is you do a lot of the work before even touching the um, limiter or the compressor. You just simply normalize each section. You see these right here? Now they're all normalized to zero. This one looks just like this one and it looks like this one. However, this audio clip when I was recording I was talking really loud and then I decided to talk soft. An easy solution to fix that is an edit sample, push the normalize button, highlight the other section that needs to be normalized, and then normalize it. Wow, it's like magic. Select it all, drag and drop, and now these whole sections are about the same level. Now, what are we gonna do with this one? Because this one has a pop in it. You can't just like normalize it because, well, you could go around and normalize every little section, but in FL Studio, there's two ways to do this. I'll show you the first way that you could do it. In the channel itself, you can in the, in the clip itself, you can click on the settings and you can turn the volume up and you can give it a really good boost. You can pretend that let's say it just needs about a nine amp, you know, nine dB amp. So let's try to level match this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mic check. It's time to pop the microphone. So I cannot ease two, three, f mic check is, I think I want it a little bit louder. So I'll go ahead and that said about, if you look in the upper left hand corner, you'll see the data of uh, what level. I think I'm going to give it about a gain of 12. Mic check is time to pop the microphone. So I cannot easily four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. mic check one, two. Th okay. Anyway, so that should give it a really good level. Now, obviously that peak right here that popping is really you know gonna ruin the signal unless you limit it so open up your compressor limiter I had to it off at this time first I like using a little bit of an EQ on the lows this is kind of what I do to the EQ turn that on and I'm gonna turn on my limiter now my limiter I'm just gonna really compress the, um, the signal a lot I'm gonna push it through here now watch what it does to the audio signal it's going to anything that's above this green line, which is set at zero dB. Look in the upper left hand corner. Limit limiter ceiling is at zero dB. It's going to knock it down to zero dB. Watch. Mic check. Mic check. One, two, three, four. Mic check. Mic check. One, two, three, four. Mic check. Mic check. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mic check. It's time to pop the microphone so I cannot easily normalize it. Okay, so you see all this right here, that purple? That signal is being knocked down and it's flattening out the vocal continuously. Like, look at that. And it doesn't sound over compressed. But if I were to turn up the gain way too high to be able to try to level match all these individually, like, you know, this one's super loud through the limiter, and this one's super soft. It, these ones would have sound super compressed, and this one would have probably sound okay. So, I gotta normalize the files first. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you often what I do to a pop in here. Is I'm going to right click the file. I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to run a script and I'm going to run a limiter on the audio file itself. That looks between, I'm going to try to give it a input, a input gain. I don't want to overdo it. Maybe at a three. Oh yeah, look at that. It brought, brought that right up. Took care of that pop. I'm going to drag the drop the uh, sample. Come on, get over there. There it goes. Now that's a good level match. Check that out. That's good. I want to go back in here and make sure I turn the volume down to zero again. Or not zero, but 100% instead of more. I'm going to play this again. Mic check. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Check. It's time to pop the microphone so I cannot easily normalize it. Now this recording, I wanted to do a lot of static, and this is something different from what I'm trying to prove on this um, on this audio example. But let's say you get some kind of random static. In here, it allows you to use a denoiser. So you get to select a portion, right-click the toothbrush, highlight the whole example, click it. Whoa, that's a lot of static. I got stuff running in the background that's probably making a noise. And I was talking soft here, but accept. Whoa, it, it really just like cut down that noise. Check this out. Mic check, mic check. One, two, three, four. Not perfect, by the way, but it helped. Go back and rewind if you really want to listen. I'm going to go ahead. I don't want to record. I'm going to record just this mixer channel. This is the process of all of them together. Check this out. Arm it. Come on. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, four. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, four. Mic check, mic check, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mic check, it's time to pop the microphone so I cannot easily normalize it. Okay, I'm back. I had to do a quick pause on here real quick as uh, something came up. Anyways, now you can see that I got one audio clip of all the all four of these files. And look at that. That's very leveled up. Just look at that. That's very flat. All that, if I hit normalize, I can even get a little bit up there. Look at that. Anyways, the point of this is that Normalize your vocals. After you normalize the vocals on each part, you can limit each portion, whatever the case you want. You want a really nice, thick sounding, pure vocal, and that's exactly what I did. Check this out. Just sounds so smooth. Whoops. Mic check, mic check. One, two, three, four. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three, four. Mic check, mic check, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mic check, it's time to pop the microphone so I cannot easily normalize it.